Hey guys, it's Olivia here. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to Positivity with Olivia. Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you've had a great week. Um, your response to Positivity with Olivia was just so sweet and I'm so glad that you guys seem to like it. Um, so I'm so excited to be bringing another episode to you guys today. Today I have my favorite tea with me. This is, um, it's a coffee bean tea and it is called African Sunrise and it's my favorite tea of all time. So um, I hope you guys have your tea or coffee with you and let's get started. Oh, also I forgot to mention it's in my other Snow White mug. Yes, I have more than one Snow White mug. <laughs> So one thing I wanted to mention before I get started is that I've been loving connecting with you guys and chatting with you guys through Cameo, which is basically an app where you guys make requests for me and I send you guys personalized video and all the proceeds go to Cookies for Kids Cancer. Um, that's the charity that I wanted um, all the proceeds to go to because it has such a special place in my heart and um, the fact that we can connect and chat together and raise money for Cookies for Kids all at the same time is amazing. So if you guys um, want a personalized video from me, you guys can book me on Cameo. So um, yeah, it's been so much fun doing that. Okay, so one of our first stories is about a couple from Texas who is so grateful for the kindness and the generosity of this stranger. This couple was playing volleyball on the beach when the woman lost her engagement ring. They were a newly engaged couple and she lost her ring. But then they saw a man named Paul Womanski who was metal detecting on the beach on Memorial Day at this time. And they begged him to please look for their engagement ring. So he spent hours searching and searching until he finally found their ring. The couple was so happy that the man actually just proposed again because they were so happy and relieved that this man had helped them find their wedding ring and talk about kindness from a stranger. Such an inspiring story. I loved this one. Okay, our second story is so sweet and beautiful. This story is about a group that calls themselves the Elder Kindness Gang. It's basically a group of volunteers who go out every Wednesday and create these huge card parades for elderly residents at senior living centers. Right before the parades, the volunteers get together to discuss their car routes and decorate the cars. Everybody's talking about how Wednesdays have become the highlight of the week for the senior citizens, but also for the volunteers who are going around and spreading joy. On Wednesdays, they actually drive to senior facilities in many different places, including Sacramento, Rockland, and Granite Bay. I just love how people have been getting really creative with the car parades, whether it's for a birthday or a graduation. It's just spreading so much light and it's an easy way to do it. Okay, my third and final story. Um, as you guys know, because of what's happening in the world right now, most graduations are being canceled. So people and schools have been trying to get creative with how they can still honor their graduates and still kind of hold social distancing graduations. Kevin Carpenter, the principal of Kennett High School in New Hampshire, got creative with his idea of what a social distance graduation could look like. He came up with the idea of a ski lift graduation, which sounds so cool. So he asked Cranmore Mountain Resort if they could let them have the graduation there and they offered it to him free of charge for all the graduates to come and hold their own ceremony. This graduation will definitely be unlike any other and it's one that these graduates in the class of 2020 will never forget. And I think that a ski lift is a pretty creative and awesome way to graduate. And I just wanna take a moment to congratulate the class of 2020. We are so proud of you and celebrations look a little different this year. We are just as proud and um, congratulations to you all if you're graduating this year. I have so many friends that are graduating this year and I am just such a proud friend and of course bummed that things are a little different for them this year, but just so proud of you guys. So those are my positive stories for the day. I hope that they made you smile. Please comment down below something positive that happened for you this week. For me this week, a couple of positive things in my life were um, I've been reading a ton 
and I've been absolutely loving it. And I've also been having lots of pool time and lots of time in the sun, which has been so, so nice. Thank you guys so much again for your love and support on the first episode of Positivity. <laughs> I have to do it. Um, I really, truly appreciate it. And I'm so glad that you guys liked it and I look forward to making more for you guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I'm sending you guys lots of love. Bye.